Hello everybody, welcome to this week's episode of Beer, Toys and Banter. I'm Dunny. And I'm Nez. Right Nez, let's get straight into it because it's a lovely, beautiful day. This week I've gone for something different. I've gone Oriental. I've gone Japanese. Nice. So this is 5.5% and it's Hitachi, Hitachi no Nest and it's from Kutch Brewery. So, I thought I'd try this because it's a white ale, which I don't mind. But it says brewed with coriander, orange peel and nutmeg. A refreshing beer with spicy notes, a soft flavour and a mild acidity produced by wheat malt. So I thought it sounded rather interesting. I've actually tried it, done it. It was in Beer Hawk's advent calendar. Not last year, but the year before. Right. Yeah. Look at that beautiful colour, that. Not much of a head on it, which no. is worrying. No. In fact, I think we could say there's no head on that. <laughs> and it's fizzing away like a blooming glass of tizer. <clears throat> well. I'm going to say that's not great, mate. <laughs> I have to say I didn't mind it. It's it's not great by any means, um, but the fact, look how that's fizzing Fizz. away there. That's just ridiculous. It's like a glass of lager or something. Yeah, that's that's crazy, isn't it? But no, it's not. It's not great as this one, mate. I hope yours is better than mine. Well, so do I, uh, and I'll tell you the quick story behind it before I tell you what it is. As you know, last week we were in um, Black Sheep Brewery uh, trying some of their amazing beers and I've never really forgiven them. And you know, I say it every time we go there, for, for um, Glug McGlug. St stopping uh, brewing Glug McGlug. You you're absolutely right. Um, and so I've been on the lookout for another uh, black IPA. I know it's a bit of a misnomer, black india pale ale but i like black ipas what can i say and for my birthday treat this year sue took me to kirby lonsdale and we went to the kirby lonsdale brewery mm. uh, and i picked this up it's called single track it's a black ipa uh, and it's four percent so a nice session beer um so let's give it a go is it gonna be as good as glug mcglug And that's exactly what you want from a black IPA. It needs to be really, really dark. You wouldn't think I ever worked in a pub, would you? Now, whereas yours had no head. Let's, let, let's compare. <laughs> mine's all head. But more importantly, what does it taste like? Can you stick a flake in it? It smells great. Do you smell that? That's beer. Yeah. That's yeah. beer. Yeah. Glug McGlug, move over. That's it. Single track. What a beer. What a beer. I absolutely love black IPAs, dark IPAs. That is tremendous. I'm really pleased about that because that isn't. Do you know what? I had a feeling it was going to be good. We called <clears throat> into this brewery um, and uh, <clears throat> it was lunchtime and I tried a pint of the stout it's right. called jubilee right. really really nice you know one of my criticisms of git of guinness is it's not bitter enough mm. as a stout and this jubilee was like a nice bitter stout and what i loved about this place 
very trendy, you know, all kind of, you know, that industrial look, scaffolding poles and whatnot, corrugated iron and all that. But right at the back of the place was the brewery. They actually brew it inside the brewing, inside the beer hall. Right. So while you're having a couple of beers, you can, um, you can watch them brew the beer. And also, what I really like that I haven't seen anywhere else um, in this kind of uh, pandemic world that we're in at the minute is they've put, um, I don't know what you call it, Perspex shields across the bar. So you can still sit at the bar. Uh, Huge, great shield. So, you, you know, you're not breathing on anybody. They're not breathing on you. It's still table service. But you can actually sit at bar. Right, that's good. Idea. Really good. Um, I can't wait for us to to go up there and, and and ask the permission to film an episode of Beer Toys and Bounce in there. What a place! And um, the Kirby Lonsdale Brewery. What a beer! Well done. Great beer. Good. I actually don't think I can finish that, Les. I mean, just just. Just look at that. It's like a. It's like you've dropped a, one of them things in. What do you call them? Anti hangover yeah. things that you, you're sticking it. I'd be drinking that just for drinking its sake. It's, it's not nice. So. Right, so what, for, what, for, what are you opening this week, mate? Um, well, this is my first of the new packaging. Uh, black series now I'm not a box collector but what I do like is this chamfered edge with the artwork on of the character so that if you are um, a box collector and I'll tell you his collection sticking in my head uh, and I've not seen it in real life I've just seen it on Facebook Dan Cramphorn if you're watching this uh, he has all his black series end on on shelves mm. now there's not really much on the ends of the Black Series, but this new packaging, and with them being chamfered, you could sit there and have them all next to each other, and it, it'd look... It would, wouldn't it? It'd look tremendous. Uh, but anyway... So are all Black Series coming like that now? All the Black Series are coming like right. that now. With the exception of Galaxy's Edge Black Series and the Gaming Greats oh. Black Series. They're staying in the straight flat box. Um, but what I've done is I've ordered Garazeb, or Zeb for sure, Aurelios, and I've got coming next week Ezra Bridger, and that would complete my Rebels uh, lineup. So I've got all the others. I just need Zeb, and here he is. And as I say, I've got Ezra coming. So just, next just week. is that the first one in the new packaging? Because I've noticed they've renumbered it. Exactly. So this is number one. In the new packaging, it's uh, Garazeb Zebarilius. Let's get him open. Um, I have to say, it, it is the first time that I thought, oh, if you're a box collector, that's special, that's great. And having yeah, those it, it really edges, does look nice with them pictures on, doesn't it? All down the, the bookshelf or whatever you put them on, I think would be great. Well, my first thought, even before I took it out of the, the box, excuse me, is the detailing on that is miles better than any of the other Rebel crew. But he is quite a, char a colourful character. Mm. So there he is. And straight away, I've just spotted those two holes on the back of him. And uh, I'm certain that that is so you can put his weapon like you see him in the series carrying it on his back now he's got these funny sort of dog legs yeah i think <clears throat> will he stand well let's find out don't worry about his weapon in a minute let's make sure he stands i'm thinking this guy's gonna need when it when i put him on my rebel shelf He's going to need blue tack. Bit of blue tack, mate. Oh, maybe not. I think you're going. I think you're going to need it. Though. I don't think it's going to be. 
very secure, is it? No. So as soon as you put that on, the the weight shifts. Yeah, he's gonna need blue tack, but what a great figure! It's great. It's superb, isn't it? Really nice. Look at this detailing on his armor, and and the the face is superb, and it can't be photo real because he's not. Yeah. Real, but it's just such a good figure. So I can't wait to get him and Ezra into my rebel shelf in the toy room. Is he gonna stand up? There you go. Yeah, I'm still gonna put. Blue yeah, I will do. And he's ne he's ne he's never gonna fit in those triangular um, six inch black series stands that you get with some of the figures I'm trying to work out why there's another hole it back because the other spike doesn't go in it does it probably just two different ways you well can... you can have it one way and other way yeah yeah, yeah. nice great figure that mate or, really really nice i think it may be oh, i just wondered if that split somehow yeah, I think it does. And maybe it does. It either splits it. It either sp So maybe you can put them. I don't know. I, don't I think know. it's just. I'm not sure that I was supposed to do that. I've probably broken it. I think it's. You're right. I think it's just whichever way you want to put it, isn't it? I think it is. Ah. Ah. Push them together. That's it, mate. Fits perfectly. He's a little bit wonky, but nothing that a bit of blue tech won't sort out. They were always going to be the winning. And for the first of the new packaging, that is a tremendous figure. So that's my toy for this week. Number one in the new Black Series packaging, Garazeb Aurelios. Dunny, what about you? Right, well, I'm I'm doing something that I don't usually do. Open the figure, because... You open all your figures, mate. Well, I don't open my fets. No, you don't open your fets, I'll give you that. But this this is the carbonised Black Series 40th anniversary carbonised fet. Wait, are you definitely going to open that? Yeah. Right. Oh, you don't normally open the stuff that goes in your fet cabinet. But I thought to myself, I can put it back in box anyway. It's only, it's only them bits of tape, isn't it? So I've done it, mate. I've done it. I've opened it. So again, as usual, you know. That's a bit. There's nothing exciting on it. You know what, mate? I don't get them. I don't have any of them in my collection. No. The carbonised ones. I know collectors fall over the shelves from the, you know, as soon as somebody sticks one on a, a sales post, mm -hmm. gone immediately and all that yeah. good stuff. I just don't get them. The thing for me is, you know, yeah, it is it's a nice figure. It's not the correct paint. W which film does he appear in, in that, looking like that? And I, the reason I've opened it is because I've got the fit and it's not even in the right. And I thought, no, I'm going to do it. So again, no great rifle. Or is Wookiee Scouts carbonised? <laughs> well, it's more, it's more a chromed figure, isn't it? It's just, I just don't get them. I mean, this carbonised thing, you know, it, they started it with the Rise of Skywalker figures, didn't they? Yeah. And they did a carbonised jet trooper, and I'm like, well, they don't look like that in the film. And then they did some other ones, carbonised this and carbonised that. And 
I mean, the, the weirdest one to me is maybe that, but worse than that for me is the carbonised Stormtrooper. It's just a silver Stormtrooper. It's just like... Yeah. You know my thoughts. Hasbro are like, we've invested in this mould. What can we do to make more money out of it? Oh, let's do a prototype one. So they, they mould it in white and sell it as a prototype fet. And now they're selling you exactly the same figure that you've already got in a box on a 40th anniversary card as a white one. And they're selling it as a carbonised fet. People are losing their minds trying to get hold of them. Yeah. I don't get them. I mean, I probably will get some comments about opening this one, but it's my tight and I'm going to open it. Probably from Paul Eek, if we're going to be honest. Yeah. But. But, you know, each to their own. If you're a, if you're a carded collector, good health. Here's to you. And if you love keeping your stuff in your card, on, on the cards and in the boxes, Good for you. Not for me, I'm afraid. But it, it just doesn't... Like I said, I opened it because it just doesn't like, look like... When I got it this week, it just doesn't look like Boba Fett. You know what it looks like to me? Some weird robot. Some yeah. Japanese robot or something. Yeah. It's just... It's just not... It's just not Boba Fett, is it? I mean, it's look. just another way of selling you the same figure you've already got. Let's let's not mess around, mate. That's Abs what it absolutely, is. yeah. They've just put carbonised mm. on the box. And it's oh, shiny. Yeah. So that's what I've got. So disappointing beer. And what's the point, Boba Fett? <laughs> Amazing beer. Amazing Zebarilius. So I think if we're scoring uh, this week's beer toys and banter, I think it's a, a home win to me. Absolutely. And at it. the minute, I'm leading the uh, <clears throat> I'm leading the league for best beers and best toys. So done it next week. Up your game. Best beers and best toys. Yeah. Why? What's been What's been your best beer so far? This. And that's the best toy. So I'm at the top of the league at the minute. And you need to up your game next week. Bring it. Yeah. It's a poo do when you don't like a FET. When you're a big FET collector, you don't like a FET. And I, in all the years I've known you, I don't think I've ever seen you leave a beer. Ever. I'm not drinking it. No, it, it's just... And that is just... It's just not fair. I've told you, it just looks like some weird Japanese robot to me. Yeah, it's just some shiny graphite. Are you a six-inch Black Series collector? Are you a carbonised six-inch Black Series collector? Let us know in the comments why you love them, why we are wrong, why we think it's rubbish. Um, <clears throat> are you a Rebels collector? Have you got all of them yet? Uh, unlike me, I'm still waiting for Ezra. Have you got all of them? Uh, stick a picture up in the comments. Uh, leave us your comments. Um, do you like that Japanese beer that Dunny is leaving? Have you have you ever been out on on the beer with Dunny and ever seen him leave a beer before? Let us know in the comments. Do you like black IPAs? Let us know in the comments. And if you like what we're doing, give us a big thumbs up. Hit that thumbs up, subscribe, tell your mates about us. Uh, if you don't like what we're doing, what the hell are you watching this for? Absolutely. And don't forget, please subscribe. Help us grow this channel. Gives me and him something to do, doesn't it? Exactly. Otherwise, we're just in toy shops or pubs. We'll see you next week. Thanks for watching. See you next week, everybody. Thanks.